Hey everybody, Arnaldo Offman here with Beyond Video Manuals. And I wanted to start this tutorial series from the very beginning because I know there's a lot of you guys that have never operated laser software before. Maybe you're running your lasers on DMX or standalone or you've never actually run lasers before. This video series is going to walk you through the process. It's gonna try to make things as easy for you and the reason I'm going with Beyond over the other software, Quick Show or even other company software, is because I think the Beyond is the easiest in terms of the layout. I really like the layout, but it has so many advanced features. It's something that's gonna grow with you no matter how big you take your show. Now, of course, you can take some of the examples and tutorials and you'll be able to apply some of it to Quick Show, but you're gonna find Quick Show a little bit more limiting than Beyond. So the most important thing that you are going to need is going to be one of the dongles. Now, Pangolin has the new FB4, but I still use the FB3. So what is the actual FB3 dongle? Well, if you look at it here, it's just a little box. On one side, we've got our USB cable. We've got a status light. And on the other side, we have an ILDA port. Now, I've heard them call ILDA and ILDA. I call it ILDA. So just so you guys know if you hear ILDA, ILDA, cable, port, it's pretty much this here. And it looks like one of the old school parallel ports that you would plug in a printer to. You know, of course, you're going to need a USB cable. Now, a lot of people don't really mention this, but if for any reason you lose your cable that comes with your dongle, buy a good one. Don't buy a cheap cable. Buy a nice thick cable. It really does matter, especially when you're transmitting this much data. And of course, you're going to need an ILDA cable. Now, if you look at the cables here, we have a male and a female end, so it's pretty obvious what's going to go where. But one of the things that I really like, and I'm glad they made the cables like this, because when you roll them up, it's easy to at least keep them connected together, so that way the pins don't bend. And let me make that very clear. You want to make sure that you are very careful. These pins are very fragile. Each pin controls a different portion of the laser okay this isn't like your traditional all digital signal where it's just two or three cables and you know the data passes through each pin literally controls a different portion of the laser such as a mechanical shutter if there is one and so forth and I'm actually gonna talk about that in a later on video but this is literally how simple it is you are going to take this USB cable obviously you plug it into the dongle Okay, we're gonna have our ILDA cable right here, or ILDA cable, whatever you prefer to being called. And then you plug it into the back of your laser. Now, some lasers may have an input and an output, so you can daisy chain. Make sure that it's secured. Now, one of the things that I really want to stress out, especially if you've never worked with lasers before, you wanna make sure that it's off and your key is off if your laser does happen to have a key. Some of them will also have a remote interlock. This is an interlock bypass. What happens actually here in the back of this laser, uh, there's a cable that basically goes into a big red button. So let's say somebody starts crowd surfing and they get a little too high and they're you know right where the lasers could hit them in the eye. You push that button and the laser stops. Now in this case, I'm just using this one because I'm testing from home. So I just have this little bypass. That's it. Very simple, easy way to connect. You've got your USB cable, dongle, we have our ILDA cable, go into the back of the laser. Next, we're going to connect our dongle into the computer. Make sure the drivers are all set, everything's good. We're gonna make sure that Beyond recognizes the dongle and then we'll fire it up. So that's it for the first tutorial of Beyond Video Manuals. Guys, please make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, if you are, you know, if you're already used to using lasers, the first couple of videos are going to be very elementary, but I will be adding much more features and much more videos as time goes on. If you've never used lasers before, please make sure to subscribe to this video series. I'm going to do my best to really take this as easy and simple so you can do this step by step to become a pro at this amazing and powerful software. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good night and God bless.